Hello. So I am going to be getting rid of these connected bin cages that I made for my pet mouse. Before I did that, I just wanted to show everybody how I connected them because when I was looking up how to connect these two myself, majority of what I saw was just the stacked version and how to do it like that. I didn't see anything in terms of horizontal connection, um, which I had the space, so I wanted to be able to give my, my boy that. So I'm just gonna walk you through how I did this. So these bin cages, I have two bin cages, um, which are 29 inches by 17 inches and then 13 inches high. So that gives a little under 500 square feet of space for each bin cage. I think it's like 490 or something like that. So he had more than enough room. Um, so the way that I did this is I just made two bin cages as normal. I used quarter inch spacing on the top, but you could use half an inch depending on how, you know, how old your mouse is and if he could fit through that. Never underestimate how much space he can fit through. Um, that's like the biggest thing. If it's, if their head can fit through it, then they can fit through it. They are wormy little guys. Um, so I used quarter inch spacing for the lids and I just did that as normal as you would with any other bin cage. You can look up tutorials for that. But what I did that was different was on the side here, I got two PVC pipes, which are two inches in diameter and each is three inches long. And these I, so I cut the hole in the bin cage with a drill in two inch diameter. So what I did was I held the tube there, drew like a little outline with Sharpie and then using the drill, I sort of drilled into that a bunch of times until I could pop out that middle. And then I sealed it in here with aquarium sealant. So I got mine at PetSmart, uh, my aquarium sealant. I think it's usually $10 for like a pretty big tube. You can completely do this with one tube um, and you'll probably have a little bit left over, which is good. Um, so I got mine for $4 while it was on sale at PetSmart. Um, and I've had zero problems in terms of chewing. Once this dries down, it doesn't look the prettiest, but once this dries down, it is perfectly safe. They can chew on it and it will not be harmful to them. Um, you know, a lot of people use aquariums and this is made, it, those are sealed with the same stuff. So once it dries down, you do have to let it dry for 24 hours before you put them in there. Read the directions really carefully because it will not dry down very quickly. So it, it can harm them if it's not fully dry and you try and put them in there. But once you fully let that dry down for 24 hours, it's perfectly fine. So what I did was I inserted the tube in there and what you're gonna wanna do, sorry, this is kind of all over the place. I don't make videos. <laughs> um, so I have these two pipes that are connected with the aquarium sealant. And then what I have here is just a double-ended connector. So you put it on there, insert it on the other side, and then that just creates a long tube that connects the two bin cages and it's fully sealed. With my mouse, I have had zero problems with this. He cannot, you know, break out of here. But what's really cool that I wanted to do and why I did the connector for this and not just a long tube is because I got a cap as well in the same size as two inch diameter so that I can either cap it from the outside or from the inside, but that's for travel purposes. So that when we have to go somewhere, I have to bring them with me. Um, I can put on the lid, cap that off. He cannot get that out. Um, I know hamsters, they are little escape artists, so I don't have experience with that, but I know my mouse, I've had zero problems. He cannot push that cap off when you put it on fully. Um, so I've had zero problems in terms of that. Um, so yeah, you just connect them like that. So in terms of actually getting these tubes in here and sealed on correctly, if you don't have experience with using aquarium sealant, when you put it on, it's like, it, it feels like it's silicone. It feels like silicone. Um, so it's not gonna have enough grip to be able to hold this straight up. So what I did was I just piled some books that I don't care too much about underneath this so that it was just level and then I did aquarium sealant over here let that fully dry and then I flipped it so that this part was on the floor and then I finished the rest so it actually took me two days to do these 
um, just because I wanted to do it right, have it fully sealed, fully dried, so he couldn't weasel his way out of there. Um, but that's how I did that. Um, my boy did live in here for six months. He really enjoyed it. We had no problems with escape, trying to escape. He was perfectly fine. Um, you will have to clean the inside of these tubes. Just, you know, wet a paper towel with vinegar, vinegar and water, and just sort of rub it in there, and you should be okay cleaning that out. But they will pee in there, just so you know. Um, but I think that it was a great solution because I wanted to give him a lot more space, but I didn't want to buy another D12 since we had another bin cage lying around. So that's the way that I did that. And leave me a comment if you have any questions. I'll respond with you know, any information that I have, and let me know if you did this.